In this video, we're going to add multiple markers to a map. So if we preview our map, we can see that we've styled it up, we've added a coffee cup to it, and now we want to add multiple locations. So how do we do that? Well, if we open our options, we go close our general settings down and go to our markers. We can see that we have multiple markers file here, and we're going to be loading up a JSON file. So it's a similar process to when we were changing the look and feel of the, um, the map. So let's go and take a look at our download. And in our download, we have a couple of sample um, location maps for you in, um, in here. Let's just go and take a look and see what they look like. So if I open this up in brackets, we can see that it's very simple. We have two uh, pieces of information, the latitude and the longitude. Now notice the structure of how this um, array is built. We have brackets, we have our latitude with our um, coordinates here, we have our longitude with our coordinates, we have a closing bracket, and then we have a comma. And that happens exactly the same until we get to the very last item. Now you can have as many item markers in here as you like, but the last one has to be without a comma. So you have to just make sure that there's no comma on the very last item. So let's go ahead back into Muse and load that file up. So we're going to click on our map, open our markers. I'm just going to close the general settings now. Click add file. I'm going to go to my Google Maps here. Go to my locations and let's open that location file up. Now when we preview our map, we can see now that there are three locations and the um, mapping widget automatically zooms in to the center of the array of items and zooms out so that you can see all of the icons on the map. So it's really useful. So if we wanted to add our own locations, how would we do that? Well, if we go back into our tool here and we're going to go to our uh, brackets file here, we can see that we need latitude and longitude. Well, we can do that with the latitude and longitude generator on the MuseGrid site. So if you remember in the very first video where we looked at using the latitude and longitude, if we open that generator tool up, that finder up, I'm just gonna bring uh, the window up here, uh, browser window, and we can put in, let's say for instance, again, we're going to put in the uh, mountain, mountain view Google address here. And um, we get our longitude and latitude. So I'm going to I'm going to copy all of that and go into my file here. I'm just going to drop it in here, and then I'll just remove the bits that I don't want. Okay, so let's pop that one in there. So we're going to create a new one. I'm going to copy this one here. Could be any one, but I'm going to copy this one here, the one just before the last item, and uh, put my latitude in here, uh, my longitude, and just make sure that I clear those items out so there's there's nothing but that file in there. And I'm going to save this as, I'll save this as locations demo, so there's a bit of separation with the files there. Go back into Muse, and I'm going to choose that file. So close the settings down, go to my markers, and then uh, go to my locations demo, load that up, and then when we preview, we've now got the three items over here that we had, and you can see that we have a mountain view location over here, and the map has zoomed out to make sure that all of the items are in view. And that is how you add multiple locations to the map widget.